So, steer away from the Ray Cook chipper. Normally they're like 400 pounds, which is just stupid money. Oh, I'm not being funny, boys. Saw it out. Photo wrong. Go and spend another 150 quid more and get fed to them by your local pro. So you know they're the right length, right line, or etc. etc. 29.99 Wilson Stark Hybrid. What have you got? Just a four. If you're looking for a cheap forward, there's a uh, four hybrid. Nothing wrong with that at all. I'd have a bit of that. Cobra S3 driver, stiff. Discount. Potentially brand new. 8.5. Hook me up. I mean that. 20 quid. I know it probably hasn't got a stand. I wouldn't bother buying any of this. If you're spending £140 on a putter, by the way, or £100 more, get fitted. Guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's Simon here and we're going to be having a look at some unbelievable online golf deals whilst we're in lockdown. So before we get into this video, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like and subscribing if you're new, that would be amazing. And there's two people that I have to thank. Firstly, Michael Guthrie, who sent me a DM on Instagram the other night saying, Simon, have you checked this website out? And I said, no. He said, can you? And I went, yes. And I went out to look and he said, look at the deals. And I went, Michael, they are great. So thank you to Michael for first off tipping me off about this website, but this is a UK website. There's gonna be tons of these websites as obviously the golf industry is gonna be somewhat struggling at the moment and they need some kind of cash flow. So whether it's this website or another website, I wanna show you what I'd buy from these websites and what I'd steer away from and hopefully give you guys a bit of an advice as all I've done at the moment is just tip you off on eBay stuff, secondhand stuff, which is a bit hit and miss and sometimes you might have to wait quite a while to find what you're looking for. And the second person is James Robinson. He did a very similar video up on the Callaway pre-owned website about two days ago and he's recently just got past 100,000 subscribers so massive congratulations to him. One of the hardest working guys, there's no question in the golf YouTube scene, at daily videos for near one coming up to two years I think now. Um, uh, so fantastic work from him as well as it was a great video so after you've watched the whole entire one of this, go and watch his as well. Okay, so golfdepot.co.uk is the website that Michael told me about and I said there's going to be a lot of places at the moment um, uh, they're going to be very similar in terms of doing like flash sales. Go and message a pro as well, I'm sure there's a lot of kit in this shop because it's just so much money in golf hardware just tied up at the moment that's just going nowhere and realistically when this all finishes not many people are going to be going for a club fit or buying a lot of stuff obviously with the economy. But let's have a look now there's some unbelievable deals on this website and mainly I just want to show you guys what I would have a look at when I'm buying from these kind of websites um, and what I'd steer away from. So, steer away from the Ray Cook chipper. <laughs> Learn to chip, all right? Get a less, go and get group less than 10 pounds. Learn to chip. Um, uh, Wilson Harmonized Waves. Now, I, if I'm not wrong, I think Adam from New Zealand, episode three, had a couple of these in, in the bag, for example. I don't know what kind of lofts they've got. Um, 52 and 56. If you are a raw beginner, i.e. never played, got hand-me-downs, you need a wedge, buy two of these, 52, 56, that will, that will suffice until you can play off 20. Do you know what I mean? I'm a big advocate when it comes to wedges, you're not good enough to have a good wedge in your bag. You, a lot of people don't need to spend or go and get fitted for wedges until they're very good level or been playing for years because you just don't utilize the grooves enough or the turf reaction, whatever science that goes into that wedge, you're not good enough to use that wedge. So. Beginning game, 20 pound wedge, perfect. Now, these three wedges here, I think are great. Now, I've obviously done loads of eBay stuff. I know personally, for a decent wedge on eBay, you're looking at 30 pound minimum anyway. Anything cheaper than 30 pounds, the grooves are knackered, grips worn, shafts rusting, etc., etc. So 49.99 for either a Mac Daddy or an SM7, I think is a great deal. Because they're going to be near on you. I know it says 8 out of 10, but 10s with the wrapper on, 9s with the wrapper off, 8 out of 10, it's been hit in a studio a couple of times. So I'm pretty sure for their reputation, they're going to be very good condition. Cobra Pure Wedge as well, I wouldn't look past. So realistically, for me, it's a case of what options have they got left? What have they still got? So they've only got 56 left in that. So if you're looking for one sound wedge, great. If not, then probably steer away. SM7s, what lofts they got in that? 50, 56, 60. So you've got a full set there for 150. So basically you're buying three wedges for the price of one. So rather than getting SM8 to this year, buy three of those. Unless, you, unless your wedge play, I'm talking you can put a wedge within a flag from 100 yards. So you've got to put it within 10 foot of the flag from 100 yards. 
seven out of 10 times. If your wedge play is that good, buy a 150 pound wedge. If your wedge play is not that good, that's the deal you need. Um, uh, oh, that is nice. They've got 46 degree wedge. I talked about a low lofted wedge for a lot of you guys, because I imagine you, a lot of you have got massive gaps between your set. So say you've got the Sim Max irons and Taylor made, and your pitching wedge goes probably about 120, and then you've got a 52 degree wedge that goes about 80 yards. That 46 degree wedge is probably what you want. And I know that's the same loft as your Sim Max, slightly more lofted, um, uh, but just in the properties of it, that'll gap nicely. So I like the options there. I'm more of a Mac Daddy person, personally. I think I'd spend the 150 quid on those three wedges right there, 100%. Anything more expensive than that, I'd probably stay away from. Now, I know, again, they're brand new this year. That's amazing, 70 pounds. And again, the rest of them, 80 pounds down the bottom hit for new. Honestly, I'd save the 30 quid, go X rental. That's just personally me. You can use that information however you so wish. Let's have a look what putters they've got, actually. Now, again, they've got some Ray Cook specials. You could build a bag off this website for like 100 quid. Dirt cheap. Um, uh, let's have a look what else they've got. See, they, to be fair, 70 pounds for a putter, tailor-made TP. That would be good for the majority of you that are watching this. What length, what length does it, oh, hang on, 34 inch. See, that's good, 34 inch. That's probably about right. That'd probably suit 78% of you that are watching this video. If you're thinking, if you've got an old, old putter and you're thinking, oh, I want to buy a new putter this year, that's potentially what I'm looking for. See, that's why it's cheaper. I know it's red, but 35 inches, that's too long for a lot of you. So be careful. Putter length is very key. Because if you want to change the length, you're going to have to rip off the grip. And if you rip off the grip and cut it down, you're 40 quid in the already, it's already costing you 40 quid to sort that out already. Um, so, putters wise, I mean, if I had the choice, see that Odyssey O works putter there, I'd game that, to be honest. I know that's £80, but that is a great putter. Really, really good putter there. What length does that come in? 34. That's probably my choice. I know it's £80, I know it's more on the expensive side, but when it comes down to putter, I'd rather you spend a lot more money than anything else in the bag. I'd rather you spend £80 on a putter than £80 on a driver. Sky Cameron, not the most favoured. They didn't really do the well, the future futurers. They didn't really do that well, to be honest. I'm not, I bought this. I know that's 180 quid, but I, do you know what I mean? I wouldn't spend, I wouldn't bother buying any of this. If you're spending 140 pounds on a putter, by the way, or 100 pounds more, get fitted. Hit the thing first. 80 pounds is like my limit. 50 quid, don't need fitted for. But if you're spending £100 more, you need to go to a pro shop. You need a golf coach to fit you for a putter if you're going to spend that much money. There's just no point. If you're going that far north, I would never buy £300 Scotty Cameron putt offline because it's pointless. You need to get measured. You need to go and have a look at what works for you. Okay, let's keep going up. Let's have a look at irons. Let's see what irons they've got on here for you guys. Is that PXG? PXG 2 iron. What shafts have they got in it? It's got rubbish shafts in it. If that had, and the only reason I'm saying this is because I've hit that two iron before, it's a great two iron, and normally they're like 400 pounds, which is just stupid money. But if I compare it against like the P790 UDI, if I compare it against the Strixon like ZU65 I've got in the bag, if I compare it to um, uh, any other driving iron on the market, they're all 175 pounds before you started, but you've got a good choice of shafts. And realistically, if you're using a two iron, you need an heavy set shaft mind you that is x stiff that's not too bad i wouldn't be getting an s300 in a two iron for sure uh, you need x stiff because you need the club head speed to use it anyway that's questionable i i personally would buy that i personally would buy that but as you see in my videos you can get a great driving iron for 70 pounds realistically is there gonna be much difference between them no um uh, that's a great deal they're great irons. That's not bad for a beginner. £149, five sand wedge. If you're looking to upgrade from your granddad's clubs, that's a great beginning iron, forgiving, everything else. 140 quid. Not bad for 15 quid a stick or whatever, 20 quid a stick. 716. Are they 18s? Oh, <laughs> I'm not being funny, boys. Sort it out. Photo wrong. Come on now. 
get someone on the in the office and sort that out. Okay, so they're not the 718s, they're the 716s, 200 quid. I could spend 200 quid better on eBay, to be perfectly honest. I think you guys have seen me spend 200 quid better on eBay for irons. So that's that's questionable. Mm, I'm not, even though these are cheap, do you know what I mean? Even though these are cheap, if you gave me 349 pounds to find a set of irons, I bet you I can find you a blooming good set for 349 in great condition second hand, rather than, I know these are brand new, but when you want, and also, can I just say, if you're using these, for example, I'd rather you get fitted for them. You might as well get, you might as well go and spend another 150 quid more and get fitted for them by your local pro, so you know they're the right length, white right line, or etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I know they're forgiving and everything else, but I'd rather you buy these off the online rather than these online, because realistically, there's no difference. They're cast iron. They've got similar shafts, same head design. You're not at a skill level to notice the difference between these two. You might because you think, ooh, Callaway. Or you might because you're like, ooh, Taylor made this amazing. They're pumping out those Mavericks. See, that's kills. that kills pro shops, that does, to be fair. And a lot of people wouldn't take my advice and go, 449, perfect. Do you know what I mean? But that's amazing how cheap they're knocking those out right now. Um, okay, let's move up. But anyway, in terms of irons, I would potentially just go with that. That's kind of really it with the irons. I just don't think they offer enough. Potentially the 716s. But the X Rental, again, you can probably find better shaft, better options on eBay. The two iron is nasty. It was 400 pounds, 149, but still you can spend a lot less and get a lot more on eBay. So irons, I'd probably stay away from. Rule of thumb. Let's have a look what hybrids we got on. 29.99 Wilson Staff Hybrid. What have you got? Just a four. If you're looking for a cheap forward, there's a uh, four hybrid, nothing wrong with that at all. If you're looking for a hybrid for the bag, fill a gap at the moment between your irons and your five wood or three wood, that's a great deal. 29.99, brand new. Cheers for coming. Now these aren't bad either. These M6 tailor made woods. What shaft options do you get? M6 demo, five, six, and seven, 49.99. That's better. That is better. What's this? Stiff, still demo. They're not, those hybrids there, boys. Again, all I'm doing is matching up with what's on eBay because at the end of the day, you've, these are just like being used in a simulator indoors um, with a pro watching. Whereas on eBay, you've got Barry that's been hitting it 2,000 times throughout the course of the year um, and you have no idea what's happened to it. And he's going to be selling it for a very similar price. So they're actually a really good deal. Everything else too expensive. Um, uh, I wouldn't really bother. Your local pro would be knocking his Mizuno um, uh, woods out at hybrids at a similar price now. So you're better off messaging him and going, you know that hybrid I was looking at? Can I have it? Because that'd be a similar deal. And also he'd probably be able to give you a bit more information on what one you actually need. Um, uh, okay, what have we got now? Hybrids that go to woods. I imagine it's gonna be a similar story. Again, Good deals, I wouldn't spend more than 80 quid. Those are great dry, um, woods, by the way. 80 quid for a three with ST190, stiff, X demo, three. That's not bad, that's not bad. Again, you can build a great bag off this website, apart from the irons. That's about the only thing that's letting it down. They haven't got great deals on irons. But I imagine those irons, all the good deal on irons probably already gone. So they're not bad either. Let's have a look, drivers. Interesting. I'd have a bit of that. Cobra S3 driver, stiff, discount, potentially brand new, 8.5, hook me up. Hook me up. If you're looking for a beginner driver, 50 pounds there, you're welcome. F7, 6.5, hazardous. Tell you what, what loft is that? Is that just gonna be 10 and a half? Black driver, lockdown discount, free post, brand new, 99 pounds. That is, again, if you've got a fast club head speed, that's not a bad deal either, really. Everything else, don't bother. Go to your local pro, go and get fitted. I can't believe, head only. I know it's head only, but if you wanna upgrade, so what's, when did they last change the adapter on the Callaway? I'm gonna say XR, um, maybe the Epic. So if you want to get a Maverick head 249, that's 200 pounds cheaper than what they were 
four weeks ago. 349 for the brand new thing. That is amazing how quickly they've knocked down the prices of that. All of them are struggling at the moment. Right, there's the clubs anyway. That's probably what, to be honest with a lot of this stuff, if you're buying something for 40 or 50 pounds online, that's going to be a reasonable good deal, to be honest. Anything else, you're better off going and trying, testing, and getting a feel for it so it's the right club for you. Now, let's have a look at a few other offers that I'd have a look on this website for you to buy. So quickly, just having a look at shoes on this website, they've got some ridiculous deals. Like, if you can find your size, next level. Like, we're talking 30 pounds for something. Now, obviously, I imagine the shoes are gonna be somewhat out. Let's have a look. Yeah, size eight. But mind you, quite a lot of you guys, I imagine, are size eight. Now, that's a great summer shoe. Let's have a look. Let's go, let's venture out a bit. Let's have a look at slightly more expensive than uh, 30 pounds. Let's go 40 pounds. Let's see what they've got on here. So like, for example, mate, they are a great shoe for 50 quid. If you've got that in your size, that is unbelievable price. That's ridiculous. Footjoy DNA Helix Lockdown All Performance. Lockdown's obviously the deal, by the way. That is, that's a 150 pound shoe right there just for 50 quid oh my life they're knocking these out that is my favorite ever shoe by the way 60 pounds i might buy that myself that's cheaper than pros and use that is 10 7 nine and a half got my size in that's a great shoe that's a good deal for the shoe so if you can find your size on this um, st um store even they've got some good stuff what accessories they got as it's just teas and stuff yeah, boring. What else have we got? Um, uh, let's go. Golf balls. Interesting. Okay, golf balls. DT True Soft. That'll probably sort out the majority of you that are watching this video. £99 for 12 of them, 100%. I'm not a massive. I haven't really played with the Project X. I imagine there's similar compression between those two balls. Um, uh, those Mizuno JPX balls, by the way, massively underrated massively underrated if you want a soft feeling golf ball for the price that's actually really good mizuno struggled to sell golf balls i don't know what it is srixon normally has it locked up but if i had to choose between a srixon soft bill and that jpx for myself i'll be going mizuno all day long so actually there's some cheap balls obviously but you can pretty much get that's not stupidly cheap people sell cheap balls pretty much all the time lastly let's have a look at golf bags 20 quid for a golf bag like, tell you what, for my builder bag series, I'm trying to build a bargain set for 500 quid. I might just lump them in that. 20 quid. I know it probably hasn't got a stand, but that's ridiculous. I could find a trolley in a dumpster and that'd be all right. Um, uh, <laughs> that's funny, that is. Could you imagine getting a little ball bag out of the boot? What else have we got on here? That is probably a good price. To be fair, they're all quite still expensive. I like a pencil bag, but you need something with a stand, to be perfectly honest. Those £20 bags are just a bargain. I'd probably stay away from the rest of it, because that's probably what you'd pay normally. Right, guys. Anyway, I hope you like this video. A bit of an idea and understanding what I'd buy from these kind of websites, and what you should probably be looking out for and probably stay away from as well. It's spending a bit of money or a lot of money. You're going to get a lot more value if you spend a lot of money with your local pro. But then also, at the same time, it's going to make sure it's right. Or if you're spending 30, 40 quid on an item, then it probably doesn't matter. Guys, catch you later.